Hi everyone, it's Claudia from We're Just Two Sisters, and I am just so excited to share one of my newest journals with you. I just finished this one this morning, and I just cannot wait to see the lucky person who decides this to make to make this their own. Um, it's a relatively small journal. I call it French Reminiscence, and I think it's basically um, an awesome piece. For someone to just record all of their wonderful memories, it could be a travel journal. It's four four inches by five and a half inches, so it's relatively small, but it has a really large spine. So what that means, of course, is when they have a large spine, two inches, that it can hold a lot of really wonderful things. So this is a cloth cover journal has an old doily and a lovely little gem on the front. I'll show you that when I take the ribbon off. It is quite full, and the back is um, also cloth and finished. And uh, it's all sewn, so it's extremely sturdy. It'll last a lifetime. And it's held together with this pretty uh, ribbon that simply unties just to open it up. And although this is really full, it's not as chunky as some, primarily because the spine is so large. It has three signatures. Each signature has approximately 20 to 25 pages. So um, as I said, it's it holds quite a bit. It has these lovely little embellishments. Um, and I just love this picture. So let's uh, take a look inside. The inside of this journal, as I said, it's a hand-sewn signature. It's sewn around the edges, has this uh, lovely center. And it's completely filled with my own echo dyed, stencil dyed, as well as quite a bit of writing paper, different types of papers, memos, invoices, graph paper, art paper. And this is one of those that, although it is highly embellished, it's also a blank slate for someone who wants to take that first step at creating their own junk journal but it's already got a really great start start and i hope some of the embellishments serve as um things that will inspire you to make your own so i've just put some little corners on some of these here's a belly band that has a little tablet little tablet has all kinds of different sizes of papers and it's sewn together so it'll last forever and it just slips right down in that little belly band and holds it nice and tight in the book. It has um, some art paper. It has pages from vintage magazines, um, vintage books. As I said, invoices. It has some cute little side pockets with some little fillers. Here's a fun little trifold that just slips down in there. These are some of my own uh, lace dyed papers. It has school papers, quite a few little pockets with little tablets and um, other little embellishments. Here's another fun little tablet that again just uh, slips down into that pocket. It has um, several pages that have lace sewn onto the side, but again, quite a bit of blank canvas for you to take this journal and just make it into your own incredible masterpiece. I've included a couple of little tags in this. Again, I'm hoping maybe for some inspiration for you. And I've left some of them blank um, and unembellished on the back so that you can try your own um, artistic flair with them. Another little page, another pocket with a little tag. This one actually is finished. Um, but again, you don't have to leave the ones in here. You can create your own or you can move them around as you wish. Uh, I've even taken some of the blank pages and embellished them just a little bit um, so that you can um, get some inspiration, get some ideas. You'll also find a little, few little bits of paper. That's normal. Um, lots of, again, old magazines, old uh, dictionaries, poetry books. Uh, lace, uh, calendars. This is a fun little envelope um, that you could put something inside. It just slips down into this little calendar pocket. Blank pages galore. Old magazines, old books. This is a little uh, pocket that you could do whatever you'd like to with. You could even cover up July if July was not a month that meant a lot to you. Again, old um, atlas 
and map books, old magazines, gardening magazines, graph paper. Um, here's a, an old tab, um, which I put a couple of little embellishments on, wonderful little blessings, and going to Paris. This would make a great travel journal for someone who was actually going to travel to Paris and wanted an opportunity or um, you know, a resource to put all of their uh, wonderful ideas, thoughts, and memories in. This has an, a really cool little tablet that's actually clipped on the side. This one comes off with this fun little snail clip, as you can see, and it's just clipped on. So it could go into one of the little belly bands or you could make your own. There's some old magazine pages, some old book pages, music pages, pattern paper, calendars, invoices, lie on your back and look at the stars. Isn't that a wonderful idea? There's um, more examples of some old magazines, dictionaries. This one is actually French, graph paper, art paper, blank pages, some really pretty glossy paper um, that is um, very Victorian. And I try to usually put like tracing paper or see-through paper on top of those glossy ones so that it just creates a really pretty page. Lots of writing room. Lots of blank pages. Just a ton of things to work with and get those creative juices flowing. This is the center of the book. I love this page. It's um, just very whimsical and very fun. Here's some old stamp paper. More of that glossy, very Victorian, very French stamps. More blank pages, more lace sewn on. Again, just a, an abundance of ideas can flow in this um, in this journal. And I really love making these journals that people take and finish them on their own. I've had several people who have purchased these who have been so excited to send me photographs or videos of their finished product. And I am just amazed at the talent that's out there and the creativity that people put um, uh, in these journals. This is um, an example of echo dyed paper where I use um, rose petals and flowers to echo dye. This is a really old typesetting book that I purchased at a thrift store a while back in I don't know that I'll ever get through it. There is so much wonderful stuff. This is actually a window envelope. So this little card comes out and then you just slide it in here. You could put whatever you want in this little envelope. Um, and that way it makes like a little window that you can see through. I think those are so much fun and I've decorated the back of this. Do everything in life once. Actually, I, things that you enjoy, do them way more than once. This is a pretty page. Again, lots of space to write. Um, an old magazine that I've actually stencil dyed. Fun Can Can Girls. And um, here's a really fun page with the um, lace on the side. I loved this. Pray when swamped with sin and shame and nowhere else to pin the blame. But your own will and waywardness, God knows you, loves you nonetheless. I just love that. Here's another really fun poem. I took this out of a very old poetry book. Great papers to just, you know, do with whatever you like to do. Great music. Lots and lots of pages. Here's a fun hummingbird. This is a center page of the other signature. That's very pretty. Very collage paper. More of the French dictionaries, writing papers. This is a little uh, pocket that has a really pretty, what I thought was like a French countryside watercolor. This has another one of those little trifolds in it that just opens up like this and you have lots of space to write in it. And then you can just fold it back together any way that you like and put it right down in that little pocket. This is a really pretty piece of muslin that I stamped and colored. And 
more writing space, a little more of those, the little vintage um, poetry book. And some of these I have embellished with just some, some borders and so forth. This also has a belly band with yet another of those fun little tablets. And I just love this whimsical yarn um, on the edge. Not only does it make the tablet really pretty, but it also um, hangs over the side and, and looks really pretty on the outside of your journal. Almost finished here. Here's another little belly band that you could uh, put something down inside. This is also a uh, pocket. So I uh, put another little uh, postcard in there. And there's the window envelope side of that one and you can position whatever you'd like in there so that uh, you can see it through that little window, as you can see here. And we're almost to the to the end. Here is a little bag that uh, can hold all kinds of fun things, more writing paper, um, more calendar, echo dyed paper, and then this ends the book with this fun uh, glossy page of um, this really interesting uh, imagery. And here is the back of the book and the very back and there's the spine once again so when you're finished with this journal um, i left purposely the ribbon very very long so um, if you decide to fill it all the way up with more and more um, wonderful things you can use this ribbon for a very long time so i hope that you've enjoyed this video i hope that you like this little book it's definitely one of my favorites and I can't wait to get some feedback. It's also for sale. It's on our Etsy store, and that's www.we'rejusttwosisters with the number two .itsy.com. We also have a website, we're just two sisters.com. We're just two with the number two sisters.com. So thanks so much for taking the time to check out this little video. Hope you enjoy and hope you have a wonderful day.